From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. Nurul Islam grows rice on land that may soon be underwater. Here, by the southeastern coast of Bangladesh, climate change-related sea level rise threatens to submerge one million hectares of agricultural land, displacing 40 million people, many of them farmers like Nurul. There are more storms and they are no longer predictable. Sometimes if we have crops, we cut them and tie them to containers which float. Within two or three hours, the water recedes. Then we struggle to start all over again. Nurul and his family have already been displaced once. When their farm was washed away 12 years ago, they moved here to this char, or new land, created naturally from layers of silt carried in rivers flowing down into the Bay of Bengal. But after more than a decade on Noler Chor, Nurul and his family still live without electricity and running water. And salt water intrusion has become a growing threat to his crops. There is no dam. The high tide floods our land and sweeps away our seedlings. We replant, but by the time the season comes to an end, the crop doesn't grow as it should and there is less yield. In some cases, yields are half of what they should be, and as a result, poverty and malnutrition are growing in coastal communities. To avoid a bigger crisis, farmers need to adapt to climate change, says Thomas Rath from the International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD. People have to adapt their, their livelihoods, have to adapt their, their production patterns, have to adapt the way they generate income to the changing environment. So in, in terms of uh, agriculture, agriculture has to invent and develop technologies that cope with the effects of climate change. Some of what Rath talks about is happening here, on another accrued patch of land known as Boerchar. Newly constructed sluices trace the coastline and prevent salt water from contaminating freshwater canals and embankments high enough to hold back a seven-meter rise in sea level. Farmers, too, are being armed with training and new technologies. Onjana Bala Das harvests a high-yielding variety of rice, specially bred to grow in salinated water. With this variety, we earn more. We can pay our children's school fees and we can also save a bit. Improving farmers' incomes while protecting them from climate change threats is the focus of an ambitious development project involving six branches of government and international donors like IFAD. Zoinal Abedin is deputy team leader. Many uh, people lost their land two times or three times even. Uh, now we provided them many protections and they are now saved at least. So far, about one million coastal people have been assisted by the project. And now, back on Nolerchor, Nurul and his neighbors will soon be among them. Sustainable development will be among the focus areas discussed at the upcoming Rio Plus 20 Earth Summit. Helping farmers adapt to climate change is crucial in protecting livelihoods. This report was produced by James Heer for the United Nations.